I own an S Corp in Arizona, which I'm selling now, and buying a mobile home park in California. Wouldn't it be better to convert to LLC? And I can do that from Arizona S Corp to California LLC. And do I need a new EIN? All right, so here's what we have. We have a business that's shutting down in one state. We have a business that's being started in another state. And the question is, is it permissible under law to use the same entity for both? And then also, is it a good idea? I'll just tell you, it's not a good idea. And it's usually not permissible because there are some legal problems. First, you can't go from LLC to corporation as an entity type. The only way to actually convert an LLC to a corporation is to create the corporation and then have them merge so the corporation swallows and engulfs the LLC or owns the shares or ownership of the LLC. So when you merge entities, you always have to decide which entity is being consumed and which entity is consuming <laughs> or enveloping or swallowing the other. Which entity is going to survive and which entity is going to cease to exist or terminate. In a merger, that always happens. It's not an equal merger where now you have some new beautiful creation. It is one entity swallowing the other. So, in order to have an LLC convert to an S-Corp, although an LLC can elect with the IRS to be taxed as an S-Corp, if the LLC actually wants to be a corporation, you must start a new corporation and have that corporation merge with and consume that LLC. So that's one issue here. The second issue is when an entity is built or is formed in one state, it exists there until it's closed. You can't transfer an entity usually to another state. You can operate it in another state, but the state where it's born is where it lives. So what do you do? What do you do if you want to move it to another state? Well, you start an entity in that other state and it merges with and acquires and swallows the former entity, essentially acquiring all of its assets, perhaps all of its liabilities, its tax obligations, etc. But that's how you generally move an entity from one state to another. There's not actually a move process. It's an acquisition and a swallowing of the old entity and the surviving new entity is in the state where you now want to live for the future. So legally, in order to move entities between states, there has to be a new entity in that state and an acquisition and merger, if you will. Likewise, to convert from an LLC to a corporation, you need to have that process. But then there's the question of, well, what about using the original entity? Is there a reason you wouldn't want to? Yeah, the reason you don't want to is all the liabilities from your current or older business that you've been operating for a while, you'd like to have those come to a close. You don't want to have your new business typically on the hook for old lawsuits related to the old entity. So usually that's a very good time to just have a fresh start and let that old entity and any liabilities that might come up essentially just dissolve. The other question here was related to the DBA. Should you use a DBA like, let's say you decide, hey, I want to keep the old entity for some reason. Should you use a, new, a DBA? Honestly, I just cannot see any reason why you would want to have the new business in California tied at all to the old business. For example, using a DBA to operate under the old business. If I were in this situation with the limited knowledge I have here, I would say if you're starting a new business in California and it's doing something different from a business in another state, start a fresh business there have the old business closed because then all of its liabilities eventually come to an end. Even though it's possible that creditors might sue the old business, once it's ceased operating and it has no assets in it, what's the worst that happens? 
they get a judgment against an entity that has no value. I suppose that's not technically the worst that happens. A creditor can also subpoena you as a former employee or officer or shareholder and do discovery on you. So you may have to respond to that discovery. But as long as you did everything right, and I'd say work with an attorney in your state to properly close that business, you're not gonna have any personal liability for a business that closed. I'm Aaron Hall. I'm an attorney for business owners and entrepreneurs. I do this educational channel to help you spot issues to discuss with your attorney, to help you identify ways to avoid problems. But keep in mind, it's an educational channel. This is not a replacement for using an attorney who understands the law in your state, in your jurisdiction, and can take the time to understand your particular goals and concerns and exceptions that might apply to you. I'd love for you to get the exclusive free resource that we make available to subscribers. It's a list of common legal problems and how to avoid them. And then videos, educational videos, talking about how to avoid those problems in your company and set your company up for success. You can get that at aaronhall.com free. Enter your email address and we will start sending you that information by email.